you're in Amsterdam and hungry for some Asian food, specifically Korean, but don't know where to get your fix, watch this video till the end. One of my favorite things to do here in Amsterdam is discovering new types of restaurants and cuisines, but we all know how expensive it is to eat out. Today in this video, I'm going to go out with my Dutch friend to experience Korean food in a very inexpensive way. So if you're curious, watch till the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing some of my top and favorite restaurants here, Korean restaurants here in Amsterdam. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet so you won't miss any of our fun travel videos coming up soon. Now, on to the video. my friend now who's the same name as me Natasha Natasha, Natasha. <laughs> Nat and Nat <laughs> Nat from from the Netherlands How is it with you? It's going good with me How is it with you? Yeah, all is good Yeah We're uh, excited Yeah Excited How do you say excited in Dutch? Yeah. Uh, are you uh, uh. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> We're hungry I'm still having an error <laughs> <laughs> She's loading uh, What? We uh, vandaag doen. Is Wij correct? gaan vandaag noodles eten. What? Okay. Yeah. So did I say it right? We gaan vandaag doen. But, yeah. uh, so I just learned that in in the Netherlands they also use a bit of like English yes. words. So that's why she couldn't remember the Dutch word for <laughs> excited. It's like our Taglish, you know, we also mix Tagalog and English. How do you call it you? Neglish? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> so both Natasha and I are very much uh, into Korean food, even Korean dramas. So we're really excited to try this place out. It's very small. Um, and we saw, well actually no, I'm not gonna say it because I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> So it's the first time I've actually met someone driving in Amsterdam <laughs> who has a car in Amsterdam because usually the locals that I meet here they only cycle. So um, true, yeah. yeah. Uh, ik woon in Belmer and uh, Natasha uh, woon, 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 woon in Hollander. Uh, we woon in Vlachbij. Yeah. See, this is why I like hanging out with local, like, Dutch friends, so I can practice my Dutch. <laughs> it's so close. So, while waiting for the store that we want to go to, we're gonna first head to this mall. So while we were walking in this mall, Natasha remembered the word for excited. So it's called spannend. Spannend. Yeah. So we we are we zijn spannend. We no, find it spannend. We find it spannend. Yeah. Finden. Finden. Yeah. We find it excited. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you guys use it often? No. 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 So the Dutch are not too excited about things. <laughs> you have different words for um, emotions, right? Yes. You have bra bran, bran for scared. Bang. Bang. Yeah. Bang. And uh, blij for happy. Happiness. Or yes. helukig. It's just like next level happiness. Next level, yeah. <laughs> Yay. So we're next level happiness of getting our Korean food in a bit. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, finally, it's 11 a.m. and the shop is open. And by the way, I just don't know what to wear here in Amsterdam at this time. It's just hot, cold, rainy. <laughs> Everything. 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 Well, please. Yeah. Let me go outside. Alright, 
right, so we're going to try our insulators. <laughs> What did you get? I get like a roast pork, kimchi, and an egg as well. And an egg. Pretty much the same thing, same noodles. And then I also got roast pork. So the noodles are cooking in a three minutes. It will be done by three minutes. And all we're doing is just waiting. <laughs> this one costs six euros. How much did yours cost? 7.50. 7.50. What did you add? Because of kimchi. Ah, that's a good ad. actually really not bad but you know with these noodles it's like it's a lot of trial and errors mm -hmm. because you make it your own um, they just give suggestions you know add like meat and kimchi for us like we both added egg I added cheese because I like cheese um, and it's really nice how's your uh, soup going? the soup is good I like the rest of pork and so for the kimchi it's not that spicy so if you don't like spicy food Take the kimchi. I think we should be proud because we're the ones who created this. Yeah, <laughs> we should be. <laughs> our own meal. Mm. It's like, if it doesn't taste good, it's your own fault. It's our fault. <laughs> <laughs> And just right beside Hecha, we found this cool place called Shila, and there is a Korea Gyeongnam food festival. I think we're gonna try the rice cake. What's that? Rice cake? Rice cake. <laughs> I love these things. So you can also get a lot of your Korean fix here. They have sweet and spicy chicken, kimbap. Wow. That's yeah. so expensive. 13 euros plum wine. When I'm in Germany, I'll always... It's 4 euro 95 yeah. per bottle. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. It's quite pricey in here. Uh, more Korean, Japanese uh, items here, but they're still a little bit on the pricey side, I would have to say. So um, Natasha says uh, to get to get your cheaper items, Asian items, you should go to Oriental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there as well, like once or twice, um, but it is a bit difficult to get to. <laughs> if you have a car, it's uh, it's easy. Yeah. Right, so we just finished our little insta noodle date. I hope you guys can also try it out. What do you think of the experience so far? It was good, it was so <laughs> nice. It reminds me a bit of Korea. Oh yeah, because <laughs> Natasha has been to Korea. Like uh, five, six years five, ago. Five, six years ago. How, how, does, how is it different from, from here? <laughs> the five, I think it's five, yeah. <laughs> of course. We tried it, a little Korea, but... A little bit of Korea. Not quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining. So, if you're hungry for more Korean food but don't know where to go, here are my top suggestions for you. If unlimited KBBQ is something you're craving for, Soul Sister is my top choice. 
with tasty ingredients and a wide variety of choices and meats, you're sure to be filled for days. For a complete soulful experience topped with K-pop decor, fresh takeaway food, and a little grocery for some pick-me-up, make sure to check out Seoul Food. Try their japchae and black sesame latte. Yum! And finally, if you want something laid back, perfect to catch up with friends over some authentic Korean food, the Bab offers the perfect space for that. Their kimbap is made fresh every day and their Korean fried chicken is as authentic as you can get. It's Makalik! Annyeong!